Hey guys, what's up? Rivers Don't Be Here, coming to another video, and in this video, I'm going to show off some recent pickups that I've been getting. I got limited editions, I got amiibos, I have video games, I got trades, so let's get into it. First off, with the trade I did with John Wells, the person I met through YouTube, I got Earthbound. And this is a very nice condition, Earthbound. The only thing that is wrong with it is this very small nick right here, which I don't really care that much about. I have had a lot of fun playing this game, and... I have put a lot of hours into it, and this is a very fun game that I would definitely recommend to everyone. Okay, now for some NES games. First off, we have The Chess Master, which is an NES game that basically teaches you how to play chess, and then you can play chess against AIs, so that's pretty cool. Up next, we have Prisoners of War, which is a kind of side-scrolling platformer. It's not, not a platformer. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up with some guns as well, so that was pretty neat. And then we have a City Connection, which is a platforming game where you drive around in a car. Now, those three games brings up my NES collection to 386 games, and I got those from a local video game store for very cheap. Another game that I got from a local video game store is Dungeon Maker 2 The Hidden War and this is a really interesting game with an interesting concept basically you make a dungeon and then you go through it yourself and conquer it so this is a very cool game definitely would recommend you guys to check it out now for some Dreamcast games now I got these for really cheap at a retro video game store First off, we have Dead or Alive 2, which is a very cool fighting game. I enjoy the series a lot. Especially, I enjoyed the one on the 3DS a lot as well, so definitely check the Dead or Alive series out if you have not already. And we have Atari Anniversary Edition, which comes with Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Battle Zone, Centipede, Crystal Castles, Gravitar, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, Super Breakout, Tempest, and Warlords. So it has 12 different Atari arcade games, and they have their own little bonus features and stuff like that. Now for some GameCube games that I got from a thrift store. Now these are both complete. First off, we have Egg Mania Extreme Madness, which was really cool to pick up because I have never seen this game anywhere. And this game is kind of like a, a Tetris, except you control these little egg characters and they throw the Tetris blocks down. It's like competitive. So this is a really cool game, definitely check it out. It's not very expensive, so definitely pick it up. Up next we have Call of Duty Finest Hour. And it, there's not much else to say about this game, it's a Call of Duty game. Okay, now let's get into some amiibo pickups. First off, we have a Toon Link. And GameStop released some amiibos well, a amiibo that I got anyways, and I got two of them, so here is one shulk, and here is two shulks. So yeah, I ended up with two shulks, which I was really happy about, since this is an amiibo that cannot be found anywhere, that could not be found on the day it was released, or any day after it. So that was a very cool amiibo to pick up. Now, let's get into some of the limited editions. First off, we have Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Collector's Edition. This comes with the game, a lanyard, the supply box, a cleaning cloth, a feline pin, and a Gore Magala figure. So, this is a really cool collector's edition. And whenever I got mine, I got a pin, this pin with it. So this is really cool. I think this might have been the pin that it came with. I am not sure if it was supposed to come with a specific one that's inside of it, but I got this pin. So that was really cool. The Monster Hunter series is definitely a very awesome series that if you've not seen any of them, I would definitely recommend you look them up. Okay, now here's a game for the PS Vita. It is Ragnarok Odyssey Ace, the launch edition. This comes with a soundtrack CD with 25 different like musical selections. And this is a really cool action RPG that is only $20 at GameStop. And you can find these, if you ask for a limited edition PS Vita game, they will most likely pull one of these out. It is, they have shown these up every single time that I ask them, along with some other things like Senra and Kagura over there. So this is 
a definitely this is definitely a game that you should get. It is worth way more than the twenty dollars that they're asking for it. So definitely check this out. Okay, up next from I got this from the NIS America store, and it is sold out on that store. You cannot get it there. You can still get it on eBay, of course, but you might have to pay a little more than what they were asking for originally. And that is Criminal Girls Invite Only. And when I got mine, it came with this little locket keychain thing. And this game comes with a soundtrack in the game. I'm not sure if it comes with anything else, but that is all that I can see. So, this is a more traditional RPG, except all of these different girls you can use as your kind of teammates as you go through, and they'll give you ideas of what you should do in the next battle, like do a skill, do a... Um, do magic or do some other kind of status effect or something like that and they will fight for you as well and you level them up and go through a dungeon bringing them through a huge ginormous dungeon so this is definitely a really cool game so if you ended up seeing it for ebay on really cheap then definitely check it out and another one another heavy hitter is hyperdimension neptunia rebirth 2 sisters generation I got this on the Iffy Online store, and this is also sold out on there. You can no longer get this on the Iffy Online store, and if you are going to get it on eBay, then you'll end up paying about double of what it sold for originally on the website. This is a really awesome traditional RPG mixed in with some strategy RPG elements, and strategy RPG elements is that you can only go around in a certain radius of a circle. You can do attacks, you can do magic, you can do item uses or anything. But you can only move around in a certain circle. I'm not sure if the circle gets bigger as you level up or what. But you can only move a certain amount within a within your turn. And you can get as close to the enemy as possible. And then it turns into a traditional RPG where you can choose to attack, um, defend, or whatever else. So I am going to try to get as... I'm trying to get all the limited editions that I can. Like whenever I see one... I'll pick it up if it's for a good price and if I have the right amount of funds for it because limited edition games are really cool, especially PlayStation Vita ones because they seem to be selling out and the prices have just skyrocketed. It's kind of like the whole Amiibo deal and the Majora's Mask games. So definitely if you see any PS Vita games that are coming out on any store like the Atlas, uh, Xseed, NIS America, Iffy Online, any of those websites, definitely get it pre-ordered because more likely than not, they will be completely sold out. You'll not be able to get them and the price will be skyrocketed on them. So definitely check those out. And speaking of Majora's Mask, the Majora's Mask 3DS and the 3D game itself were released on Friday the 13th. And they were sold out immediately online. And as soon as Friday the 13th, they were released outside of stores, then... Inside of the stores, they were sold out, the consoles were sold out within minutes, and so the games ended up being sold out within days, and if you can find a game, then there will be one or two on the shelf. I was sadly unable to get the 3DS game, the 3DS system itself, which was really sad because I went to a Target early in the morning, but I was an hour after they opened, and they said that the Majora's Mask sold out immediately. The game, I mean not the game, the system itself sold out within three minutes. They only had three consoles at their store. And they said there were about, there were a whole bunch of people lined up at the door waiting to come in. And as soon as the doors were open, they ran into the video game section. So it was frantic. I was unable to get one. But I was able to get a Skull Kid 3DS limited edition. So this was really cool. This was the GameStop edition. The one that I got this from. So it ended up coming with this little book. And sadly, since my cat likes to jump on things, this book is not sealed. It is still considered a sealed book because it is not opened, but it is not a 100% sealed. Which is kind of sad, but I'm just glad that he didn't jump on the game itself. So, this was a really cool game. I would definitely recommend you guys to check out the Majora's Mask 3D and definitely get the new 3DS because they will be releasing... Um, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D on the 3DS, which is a fantastic game, and if you were unable to get the Wii version, it is definitely worth it to get the 3DS version. So, let me know, did you get the Skull Kid Limited Edition? Did you get the Limited Edition 3DS? Did you get multiple of one or the other, or multiple of both? Let me know.
in the comment section below. Um, I only got this one, and I did sadly, really sadly, unable to get the 3DS. It was a really cool one. I hope to get another li a, a limited edition, a 3DS, the new one. I'm hoping that they release a Xenoblade Chronicles one. That'll be really awesome to get. But that's all I have for this week. This is Roger Shinobi, signing out.